In this video, we are going to be kind of doing a little bit more setup on our project, but we're also going to be doing a little bit of cleanup and organization. Now, what I mean by that is one, because this is a first person game, we need our first person arms as that we can see for our animations and all that kind of stuff, as well as a third person for mesh for our other players to see. So when we're looking at somebody else, we don't want to see these arms. We want to see a full-on skill, a full-on kind of human variation, not just two arms floating holding a weapon. So in order to do that, one, we need to get the weapon, I mean the mannequin that is from the third person project into our own project, as well as the animation blueprint and the animations. Now what to do that is to add a content pack. Now that's really quite simple to do. So all we have to do is go over here in the content browser to add new, add feature or content pack. I'm going to go to C++ features, click on third person and add to project. Now, once this is done, we can get rid of some of the code that it gives us as well as like things like certain blueprints, which you will see here in a second. And then we can remove those from our actual project. All right, that is complete. I'm going to click yes to edit the source code now. It's going to ask us to reload, so let's do that. And then we just wait for that to finish. Right. And once it is done, you'll see a new little section appear here. Right here, third person. So we're going to go ahead and click that folder, highlight everything in it, press delete, and remove it. Now back here in Unreal Engine, you'll see it gave us three folders, mannequin, third person, and third person CPP. Third person CPP includes the map, the blueprint for the character. The third person folder just contains miscellaneous message, yeah, meshes, such as like the staircase we see in the default third person map. And the mannequin folder contains everything that we want. So it contains the materials, the mesh slash skeleton, and the textures for our mannequin, as well as the all well, all the animations used in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the third person and the third person CPP. So we're going to highlight those, press delete, and delete, and force delete. So this will get rid of those from our project as we do not need them. And now what we can do is get rid of our third person folder and classes from our actual project itself so Unreal Engine doesn't see them anymore. So we're going to close Unreal Engine, open up a project, find our binaries folder, delete that, go to source, project name, find our third person folder that was created, delete that, go to Visual Studio, and compile. Now once this is done compiling, because we deleted the binaries folder and declared everything else out of our project, we can relaunch the Unreal Engine project again, and it will no longer be there in our way. All right, so as you can see, that folder is now gone. So what we can now do is because we are going to be using this War to War default first person character as our kind of our template to go off of, we are going to gut it of everything that we don't want to keep. So for right now, that is going to include everything related to VR, but we are going to keep things like our fire function and that kind of stuff just for temporary use. So that we actually have something there that we can visually see and just test with if needed. So let's go ahead and get rid of everything related to VR. So in the order where character.h, we can scroll down in our header a little bit we will see the first thing, VR gun, remove that, VR muzzle location, remove that. Everything related to motion controllers can be removed. And if we scroll down a little farther, here we can see this bit for moving, if we're using motion controllers, remove that, remove on set, on reset VR, remove all this stuff related to touch data and enable touch screen movement we can get rid of that as well as it's really long comment now if we go over to our dot cpp 
we can see all the list of errors that are coming up in the right side here once it loads. But we can start by removing some of the stuff that's already dedicated to it, such as your muzzle location, all the way up to our motion controllers. Just like so. Remove our motion controller related stuff from begin play. Scroll down a little farther. Remove the reset VR and the enabling of the touch screen, or of the touch. And in our fire, we're going to just change out the code just a little bit. Remove this if else, because we're no longer using motion controllers. We can get rid of the controller. And format that out nice and neatly so we can have a little bit more readable. Then we can start deleting our functions that we removed. So from on reset VR, begin touch, end touch, this entire commented section. Then if we scroll down a little farther, we will see the enable touchscreen movement, which is the last thing that we can go ahead and remove. So let's go ahead and control shift B to compile and wait for that to finish. Then we will go back into the game, go ahead and do a quick little test. Everything still works as intended. So we know we are good to go, and we gutted out everything we do not need for right now. So currently, the only things that we have is our fire function, which we will eventually be removing and replacing. Move forward, move right, and are looking around. So this is what we're going to be pretty much recreating when we actually go to create our character base class. So I want to make a base class that essentially has everything movement related that we want our character to just have regardless in it, such as all of this stuff, as well as a stamina component and all that kind of thing, already set up. So that way we're going to make a class derived off of that one. And what that's going to do is really just allow us to have a very nice and clean short character class that has all the functionality built in behind it from the previous class that we made that we can easily implement miscellaneous features into. So once we have all the base stuff set up and in it and working, that's when we're going to do that and start really kind of implementing more features. So that way we can keep our character class nice and clean and short. So that way it's easy on the eyes, easy to work through, easy to find issues and bug fix. So that is everything currently, and I will see you in the next one when we start on actually building that base class.